Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I often get asked, should I craft mercenaries? Like, that's a very common question. Hey, I would like to have this legendary mercenary. Should I wait until I get it from PAX or should I craft it? And sometimes I've struggled to answer this question because I open so many packs that I open all the mercenaries from packs. In fact, my pack opening strategy is to open packs until I have all the mercs and then save. Save all the packs possible until new mercs are being released and then open packs. So that way I'm able to get at least vast majority of mercenaries from packs that I get from tasks and events and stuff instead of spending any money on them. But that of course is a very long term strategy. So a more immediate strategy like, should I craft? mercenary X. Well, I decided to take a more systematic approach to the question now and really, really figure it out. So first of all, we kind of want to max our mercenaries. It's not completely necessary, but eventually we would like to max them. And in order to max a mercenary, you need up to 2700 coins. It depends on their equipment. Some of the equipment starts like level 4, level 2, level 3, so that reduces the total number of coins needed per mercenary. But for a mercenary that has all equipment starting at level 1, it's 2700 coins. Each ability from 1 to 5 costs 475 coins, that's 1425 total. Each equipment from 1 to 4 costs 425 coins, so that's 1275 coins total, up to 2700 coins. If you complete the full task chain of a mercenary, and nowadays it's pretty easy because once you get the first task, then you just roll on through all of them and boom. That's 18 tasks done, and you get 985 coins for the old mercenaries who get their final piece of equipment from task 7, and you get 1040 coins for the newer mercenaries to get their final piece of equipment from completing a specific heroic bounty. And that's not a lot of coins now, is it? That still leaves you 1700 coins away from maxing the mercenary. But that also only gives you enough coins to max one ability and one piece of equipment and get a rank or two for another ability. And so, yeah, you're not getting a whole lot if you start from scratch and then you do all the tasks. And if you spend coins crafting the mercenary, you craft a legendary mercenary. Legendary mercenaries cost 500 coins to craft. That's one full ability. Or put another way, your entire grind is going to be like 1,700 coins, maybe even less. And you're losing 500 coins of that just to craft the mercenary. So you'll be adding 50% more grinding until you max a mercenary if you choose to craft it instead of getting it from a pack. So that is a pretty hefty price to pay. Throughout my time in mercenaries, I have crafted a couple of legendaries. And I found that they were much, much more difficult to max than all the mercenaries that I opened from packs. However, I also noticed another thing. Because at the end of each bounty, when you get the bounty rewards, there's that one slot of coins that is always going to be for a mercenary from your party. And that means that mercenaries in your party are going to get a lot more coins over time than mercenaries that are not in your party. And that means that actually, I think I can recommend crafting the mercenaries that are most used in PvE comps, because you're going to be doing a lot of bounties with them, which means that you're going to get a lot more coins with them, and that means that you will be able to max them much easier than some niche mercenaries that are not going to see as much play. I know some people are also advising to craft mercenaries that you don't intend to play with, so that you will open mercenaries that you intend to play with from packs. And that is, of course, that is another consideration. But for the main PvE farming mercenaries, crafting them is actually perfectly viable because I have noticed I'm getting a lot of coins for this. Like this Ragnaros, I have 1583 coins on it right now, even though it's maxed. So what's 500 coins to craft this? And actually Ragnaros is a mercenary that I crafted. And yeah, compared to something like I crafted Rexar, my Rexar is nowadays maxed and I checked and I have 300 coins on Rexar. So Ragnaros is just getting so many more coins because I'm playing so much more with Ragnaros. So these are the mercenaries that I would recommend that you craft when you can. And I'm also going to tell you what abilities and equipment to prioritize. Because assuming PvE purposes, first of all there's Ragnaros. And Ragnaros in PvE, almost all the time, you're going to be using Die Insects and you're going to be using Blazing Rune. So just max these and then start pumping up that Magma Blast after that. And that'll be fine. That'll be a good Ragnaros for Fire Comp. Then there's Baron Gedon, the other builder on Merc for Fire Comp. And once you craft Gedon, you get Gedon tasks, Max Inferno, Max Mark of Conflagration. This is what you're going to be doing with Gedon almost all of the time. Belinda is a little trickier because Belinda can be used in a couple of ways. Because typically you're either using Flame Dart with lesser Water Elemental or you're using Frost Dart with lesser Fire Elemental. 
yeah, so that, and that's a little bit more abilities and equipment to max. I would still always go for the Water Elemental with Belinda. Problem, of course, being that Water Elemental is unlocked from Drektar. And Heroic Drektar is really, really hard. But let's say Water Elemental Flame Dart would still be my main recommendation. Outside of fire, it's also good to have your holy and your nature comps ready. And one of the advantages of holy and nature is that these come from a little bit easier bounties. So coins are easier to farm for these if necessary. So Anduin, well, Anduin is all about that holy nova, harmonic mallet, and then start pumping up penance. And that's pretty much what Anduin does. And Anduin's comic sidekick is Prophet Velen. Prophet Velen is also excellent for many of the tasks with the required damage because of the scaling of Velen's Blessing. And you need to get Velen's Blessing to at least 5 speed. Velen's Blessing increases in speed every time you upgrade it. So you need to have this at level 4. At least level 4 that one. Then you can work on the other abilities and Tome of Inspiration. And then there's the real powerhouse of the nature comp, which is Malfurion. And Malfurion is really the powerhouse because of Life Root Staff. Passive, whenever you cast a nature ability, restore 6 health to your characters. So craft Malfurion, max Life Root Staff, max Scenarion Surge. These are what you're going to be using most of the time. Then start to work on the other abilities. So overall, it is much better to open mercenaries from packs than it is to craft them. But for the ones that are used in most PvE comps, and ones that are going to be getting the most coins, those can freely be crafted because that just helps you so much in going through the bounties. And that results in a crafting list of these six mercenaries, basically. Ragnaros, Gedon, Belinda, Anduin, Velen, and Malfurion. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.